A migrant's journey to the southern border fraught with peril, and a new report offers a grim look at the dangers they face. We want to show you horrific images from the border given to News Nation from the National Sheriff's Association. Disturbing images of men, women, and children, all from this year, offering a bleak glimpse into the trek that asylum seekers make to our southern border. Many of these are bodies found that we had to blur. The National Sheriff's Association says 700 people have died so far this year, and that is unfortunately a record high. We are joined by one of the sheriffs involved in that report, Sheriff Mark Daniels from Arizona. Sheriff, thank you for being here. Natasha, thanks for having me. Can you paint a picture for us? What is the situation actually like on the ground? What do most Americans not understand about this humanitarian crisis and the lengths that people will go to to get to the U.S.? Well, Natasha, I've worked 38 years in law enforcement working this border. This is the worst I've ever seen it. I've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly. We've always had smuggling, but never to this degree. I mean, you look in my county. Let me speak of my county, which sits on the southeast corner of the state of Arizona. We've arrested since January over 1,000 people on state crimes for border smuggling that have come in our jail all the way up to murder, all the way down to criminal trespass, 160 pursuits. Uh, we've identified almost just under 500 victims of border-related crimes in my county alone. We're seeing things, and then you look at the humanitarian, about, like we're talking about on the show with you tonight, is, I mean, we're over 1,000 since uh, President Biden took office. And, and again, it, it's tragic, it's humanitarian at its worst. It's a border that's not working, to tap, Natasha. I, I hear you, and we know another study conducted by the Missing Migrants Project uh, as part of the UN's Migration Agency determined the Mexico to U.S. journey is the deadliest land route in the entire world based on last year's numbers. So absolutely echoing what you're describing. Why is it this bad, and what needs to be done? Well, let me start off if I could say this to you, Natasha. First of all, we need to bring grim reality to what's going on here. This needs to, We need to set up an education prevention on this. It's a deadly dangerous trek to come in the United States. The border's not open. Uh, and that's the message that's coming out of Washington, D.C. And we're seeing the results of that. And the reason we have the problem is the policies don't work. We, we have no recognition from our president, members, leadership of Congress, that this border is secure. They say it, but it's not. We have no engagement. Sheriffs around the country, we just had a meeting several weeks ago where this administration is not engaging with sheriffs and there's no action to stop it. So the consequences is what we're seeing. The thousand of, of migrants have died coming across our border illegally on U.S. soil. That's humanitarian crisis, along with the crime scene that we're seeing on the 31 plus border counties here in Southern uh, America. I'm interested, do you agree with the recent busing and flying of migrants to other states, Northern states? Do you think that is a solution to this? I, I don't think it's an end all solution, Natasha. I will be the first to say it. But it's frustrating when our reality, which is America's reality, is not being addressed by East Coast, by cities that claim to be sanctuary. This is America's border. We need to treat it like that. We need to remove the politics on it. And let's unite as a country and secure our border. As President Ronald Reagan said, a country without a border is not a country. We are totally proving that statement to be true here today. I hear you. And can I ask, I know I, we were looking at some of these images, and of course they are so grisly, we had to blur the majority of them showing these bodies. Is there a story of a journey or a story behind one of these photos in particular that sticks with you the most? I don't know if I have a specific story, but I've seen enough death on this border here, especially over the last 19 months, talking to my fellow sheriffs. I, I will say this to you, Natasha. I mean, there's a, uh, a large percentage that are coming across uh, looking for the American dream. I get it, I truly do, but we gotta do it legally. We gotta do it with management behind it. Right now, neither's being played out. And as a result, you see the horrific photos that sheriffs are bringing up this uh, reality to America and to those that are thinking about making that trek north to America. We gotta stop what's going on. And I'd say this to you too, Natasha, where's our federal government in this? Why are they not addressing this? Why is this administration avoiding that, let alone the drugs and everything else that we're dealing with on the southwest border? Something's got to change, Natasha, because the frustration is there. Sheriffs are bringing this forward because we're the ones that are addressing these cases. And remember, every death on the southwest border that's investigated by the 30-plus sheriffs is a homicide until proven otherwise. All right, Sheriff Mark Daniels of Cochise County, certainly appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you, Natasha. Thanks for having me.
Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.